In this video, we're going to look at when blessings are disguised as challenges. We're going to look at the challenges that we as empath can experience and how to overcome them. It's certainly my belief that you and I are empaths because of all the good merit and hard work we have done on helping others. Most empaths actually really get a lot of pleasure and joy from helping others. So what happens there is we develop good merit, whether it was in past life, if you believe in past lives, or in this life, you are building and building good merit. And what happens with that is we evolve, our, our vibration may change, the evolution of who we are starts to develop and, and move up a level. So one of the things that happens is you your intuition opens up your desire to discover more you question more about life and your purpose a lot more um, than the average person does and, and that's just because of all the hard work and good merit that you have accumulated so you have been blessed and these with these blessings come the challenges the new challenges the new uh, levels that you need to reach the things that you need to push past in order to gain the next level. We as humans, as beings, even in nature, we all strive for more life, for abundance, for fruition, for uh, health. And so that is what is naturally helping us to develop. But with that, we need to go through the challenges. We need to go through the hard times in order to come through the other side and learn the wisdom and gain the knowledge. So I just wanted to share a little bit of my story in my development, in my evolution. I studied as an artist, so I was a painter and a sculptor and, and quite a sensitive one at that. And before I started studying about um, Buddhism and, and wisdom and all of the knowledge that I'm sharing here, I would just paint in my studio. I would barely go out, I had music on and I was quite content. I was very, very introverted and I was just happy to paint. But as I was painting and developing my skill, um, a psychic level was also developing in me, an intuitive level was developing because of my drive and creativity. I started to um, open up doors that I didn't know what, how to handle, how to approach these things, how to learn the lessons. I didn't have the tools because I was trying to do it alone. So in my journey, that was the catalyst of when I ventured out and lo and behold, I found my teacher. <laughs> One of the first people I met along the way was, was my Buddhist Lama, who's in the photo just here behind me. So bang, I met him and I, I didn't leave his side really. We um, really connected and I was just a sponge to all the teachings because the knowledge that he had made sense to me. It helped me to to deal with daily challenges and and day-to-day -day life. Um, he's passed on otherwise I'd introduce you to him but um, he's passed on so um, that's why I'm giving you the teachings because I'm, I'm following in his footsteps and just passing on the, the beautiful teachings that he gave me because they helped me so much. In fact, I could go and say that they saved my life because I was that introverted and that depressed. So he, you know, he helped me uh, change my life. So I feel obliged to help anybody who, who wants to hear this as well. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, so I artist, uh, lost, depressed, and then I met my teacher. And so when I met him, one of the first lessons that he taught me was, oh, wow, I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, wow, this is normal. Oh, this is being an empath. Oh, this is psychic ability. Oh, is that why I can feel spirits? Oh, okay, is that somebody else's negativity? All the lessons that I've been teaching you and will continue to teach you started to come out and they started to make sense. So if I didn't go through the negativity, if I didn't go through the challenges, then I wouldn't be able to learn the lesson. I would completely overlook it. I wouldn't see the lesson in it. So in this course, it's calling you also to dig deep and look at the lessons and the challenges and the negativity that you go through, the, the levels that you're entering into in order to build that wisdom, for you to build your toolbox of protection 
and the biggest protection really comes from your wisdom and your awareness so that's a really really valuable tool to have